So yeah, what is up guys, Ghost here, and today I'm um, bringing you guys a little video finally after six long months of just taking a break and not even uploading at all. I've never done that before. I've never done that before, which is kind of crazy out of the 10 years. Which yeah, my, my YouTube channel has now turned 10 years old with this year, which is really gnarly that I started this in 2014. And the fact that that was 10 years ago, a whole decade, is just absurd to me. That is just really crazy. But anyways, I know lots of you guys have been asking where did bro go? Did bro die? <laughs> Where's he at? What's happening? Is he? Did he quit? And I, I don't know. I feel like I just wanted to take a break specifically because Call of Duty is just really not like, I don't know, at least for, for YouTube is just not my passion really that much anymore as it used to. Obviously, the new COD is just straight up boring to play and upload. And as for the older Call of Duty games, guys, you know me. I've literally uploaded pretty much everything that there is and everything that there ever was with these older Call of Duty games. At this point, it just would be all repeat content with what I would upload with older Call of Duty games since I've done pretty much everything in the book. It's all on my channel already, you know? So that's why even with multi-cod content, it's just like, eh, I just don't really want to like upload or even be bothered to play Call of Duty because it's just not like, I don't, it's just more of a chore than to just to do it for fun nowadays. But I'll see what happens with Black Ops 6. I may come back and just try it out and upload it for you guys. So definitely expect content with that Call of Duty. But as it sits right now, most likely I'm not gonna be uploading videos until then. If you guys wanna stay up to date with me though, then go follow my TikTok because I've been actually uploading short form COD content there instead and I've been having fun doing that. And also definitely follow my Twitter as well because I am active on there sometimes. So as I'm only active on Twitter and TikTok. That's pretty much it. I deleted Instagram. I don't have Instagram at all whatsoever anymore. But aside from that, that's pretty much what's been happening guys. And the biggest thing that uh, has changed with me since I took a break from YouTube is finding God and finding the truth, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, with all this right here, I just want you to listen and watch this video, the rest of this video with humility. Don't be stubborn or arrogant. Push your pride, arrogance, stubbornness, ignorance all to the side and just watch and listen with humility and humble yourself for a moment right here because the biggest thing, one of the reasons also why I haven't uploaded is because I have been finding God and, or rather, Jesus Christ has been finding me and working his way through me with getting closer to him and finding out the truth, the way, and the life. Now, this is serious. This, this really is reality because everyone always wonders, what's, what's our purpose? What's my purpose? What am I going to do with my life? What, what am I here for? The reason why you're here for is for God's plan and God's purpose. God has a plan and a specific purpose for everybody, everybody, you, me, your friends, your family, anyone you know, God has a specific plan for them. And it's up to you if you're gonna live according to God's way or your way, because we have a free will to choose. Hear me out here, there could only be one truth. There can't be many truths because that would be a lie. There can be many lies, however, but only one truth. So what's the one truth and what are all the lies? The one truth is Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God's holy and only true word is in the Holy Bible. In John 14, 6, Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. In Revelation 22, 13, Jesus Christ says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. In John 1, verses 1 through 3, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him, was not anything made that was made. And the very first page of the Bible, Genesis 1, verse 1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, as I said before, there could only be one single truth because all these other things that claim to be the truth are all lies except Jesus Christ himself in the Holy Bible. So 
really educate yourself with what your beliefs are and read in between the lines. Have you read between the lines of what you believe in if it's not Jesus Christ? Have you really educated yourself and push your pride, push your arrogance, ignorance, your stubbornness out of the way just to be open-minded instead of closed-minded to see what everything really is for what it is in the lens of Jesus Christ's eyes, in the lens of the Holy Bible. Because the Holy Bible is the only truth here on this earth because every man is a liar. Romans 3, 4. Let God be true and every human being be a liar as it is written so that you may be proved right when you speak and prevail when you judge. I don't serve man. I serve God. I don't serve mankind. I serve my Lord and Savior, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. Who do you serve and how do you live? Do you live according to your ways or God's ways? Humble yourself because God is watching you and judgment day is going to come one day. And whatever you put all your faith in, whatever belief system you do, you will be judged based off of what you, what you put your faith in your entire life. Are your beliefs going to save you when judgment day comes? Do you think you know more than God? Do you think you can handle everything thrown at you in life on your own? Are you being open-minded? Are you being closed-minded? Are your beliefs from a divine source who's not corrupt and reliable with evidence to back it up like God, Jesus Christ, and the 12 apostles? You have to really ask yourself these questions because if it's not of Jesus Christ, if it's not of Jesus Christ and God's word in the Bible, then it's not of God. It's not going to simply work. No matter how much you sugarcoat it or you try to run away from Jesus Christ, he's all around you. He's all around you for a reason. Philippians chapter 2 verse 10 through 11, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. What that verse basically is saying is that whatever type of things that you do believe in, whatever your belief system already is, no matter what, when judgment day does come, every knee, every eye, every tongue will confess and see up in the sky that Jesus Christ is in fact Lord and King and God. No matter what you believe in, it will come that harsh reality Well, that prophecy will be fulfilled. No matter what, everyone's going to have to confess, wow, the Bible was right, Jesus Christ was right, God never lies, and he, Jesus Christ is in fact God in the flesh. In Job chapter 34 verses 31 to 33, so why don't you simply confess to God, say, I sinned but I'll sin no more. Teach me to see what I still don't see. Whatever evil I've done, I'll do it no more. Just because you refuse to live on God's terms, do you think he should start living on yours? You choose. I can't do it for you. Tell me what you decide. So again, ask yourself this question. Whose terms do you live on? Do you live on your personal experiences every single day? Whatever happens, happens. I'm gonna leave it at that. Or is it like, I'm gonna live how I wanna live, do everything how I wanna do it, live it to my fullest, what I think is correct? Or are you gonna take a step back and go to a divine source who knows more than you, who created you, who created everything around you, turn to Jesus Christ and be like, okay, I'm giving you the wheel right here to drive the car. I'm not going to be driving the car. You can drive the car for me and drive me and steer me to the right path because my path leads to so many directions. My path leads to basically a dog chasing its tail over and over again. My path is just endless circles going around and around. But your path, Jesus Christ, is one righteous path that will get me salvation by faith through grace alone. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 through 9, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 through 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. James chapter 1 verses 8, A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 18 through 20, Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this 
this world is foolishness with God, for it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise that they are in vain. So look, I'm not even claiming myself to know anything at all. What I'm all telling you, telling you guys is all through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Trinity, God the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. They're all God. It's all God. Jesus Christ is God. God the Father is Yahweh who created everything. And the Holy Spirit lives within us if you accept it and you don't deny it and you don't quench that Holy Spirit and you don't blaspheme it, but you accept it. And the path will be made clear that Jesus Christ is the truth. Muhammad is dead. Buddha is dead. Krishna is dead. Joseph Smith is dead. Gandhi is dead. Every Pope dies. Every Dalai Lama dies. Every philosopher dies. Every spiritual person who thinks they know something dies. But the one person that came back to life and died on the cross for our sins and resurrected three days later is Jesus Christ because he's God in the flesh. Nobody else compared to any other religion, right? No one else came back uh, alive and resurrected. Muhammad's dead. Buddha's dead. They can't save you. The one and only true God that, that completely beat death and that is the creator of, of this entire world is Jesus Christ. He was there in the beginning with Yahweh, God the Father. He always has been, he always will be, and he always is. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. He forever will be God. He forever is the unchanging God that will have his will be done. Now what religion is, is man's attempt to reach God. What Christianity is, is God's attempt to reach man. There's a huge difference because a lot of people, right, are trying to reach God. But what about God? How is God trying to reach you? That's what Christianity is. And God makes it easy for you with Christianity. Jesus Christ clears up everything with Christianity. He doesn't confuse you like all these other proclaimed religions to be true, but when they are false, all of what they do is stray you away from Jesus Christ. Christianity is the only one that strays you to Jesus Christ being God, the truth, the way, and the life. It's as simple as that. No matter how much we try to control everything in our life, we cannot manifest this or that. We cannot obtain this and that. We cannot meditate with these chakras to do this and that. We can't. I thought I could do stuff like that before Jesus Christ found me. I thought I could manifest things into my life by reading certain books about manifestations. I thought all these angel numbers were signs from angels or whatever. I thought going into psychedelics would bring me enlightenment with the truth and finding out what this is, what, what the truth is, what, what what's my purpose. I thought meditating for my own self, for my own benefit, my own gain was something that I I was gonna do that was gonna help me reach what I wanted to reach but no nothing none of that will bring you truth nothing else will bring you to what your purpose is other than Jesus Christ and that is a true on fact and it's your free will to believe to choose to ignore that or to believe in, the, in something else just know that you're a human being created in the image of God and God loves you and created you for a purpose. And God limited his power by giving us all a free will. And the only reason why people go to hell is because they choose to live their life separate from Jesus Christ. If you choose to reject Jesus Christ, then you choose to live for yourself on your own accord. Part of believing in Jesus Christ is having a tremendous amount of faith and the eyewitness testimonies from the apostles and people of the land and the preservation of the records from 2,000 years that contributed to the story of Jesus Christ. In the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, we have a very, very reliable historical record based on over 5,800 Greek manuscripts, 10,000 manuscripts of the Latin Vulgate, and about 9,800 manuscripts that are Ethiopic, Coptic, Armenian, Syriac, Slavic, and so on and so on. The evidence does not lie that Jesus Christ is God and Jesus Christ is going to be coming one day with his second coming and judgment day. So I advise all you guys to put your faith and trust 
in Jesus Christ and repent of your sins to Christ just so he can forgive you because he's forgiven everybody as is by dying on the cross but it's up to you to repent of that and to humble yourself deny yourself and pick up your cross just like jesus christ did you know it's easier to rely on what man has to say than what god has to say in some instances and it can be easier to resort to what you think you know compared to what you don't know and it could be easier to resort to what you think you know compared to what's really told Jesus Christ didn't struggle to know what his father's word was. Christ didn't struggle to understand what God was telling him. Christ didn't struggle to dissect the way God was showing him. Christ never questioned God's ways and authorities. He accepted it and embraced it using God's authority to love and guide people. What Jesus Christ was told and taught and how he went about things was from his father, God in heaven. That's the same way we're supposed to go about things in our life. Jesus Christ didn't listen to man. Jesus Christ didn't obey man, man's commands. He only obeyed God the Father's commands. Yeah, Christ was a man still in the flesh, but he was God. The offspring of a cow is a cow. The offspring of a human is a human. The offspring of God is going to be God because it comes from God. So Jesus Christ is the offspring of God but human in the flesh. God humbled himself to the point of making himself a human being, Jesus Christ, to show us how we're supposed to live. And how you're supposed to live is how Jesus Christ lived. And you can find out for yourself in the New Testament, in the Gospels of Mark, Luke, John, and Matthew. Are you hearing things that you think is right? or hearing things that God would think is right. These other texts in the world, whether if they're religious or philosophies or just enlightened quote unquote things that will get you to where you want to be, they just all push a narrative in a way that makes you feel like it resonates how you want to live. But when you read the Bible, it will confuse you. It will make you anxious. It will make you tremble because it's the, it's the God breathed truth and the true word of God. God. It's going to make you feel uneasy at first reading it because it's not going to agree with what your belief system is and what you think is right. You know, Satan can give false narratives and stray you away from Christ thinking it was you doing it or thinking it was some other type of God other than Jesus Christ gifting you all these things, giving you all these many blessings. But remember, Satan can disguise himself as an angel of light. So that's why so many people are deceived because they think they're being led by God or the right path, but they certainly are not. Because if it's not of Jesus Christ, it is not the right path. The devil, Satan, has been around for thousands of years and he knows every little thing in the book to stray you away from God. What things seem to be normal in this world are actually demonic and they're not of God and they're things that God did not tell you to do at all, but rather what man has taught you to do and what man thinks and knows to be okay because it's how we lived, but that's not, that's not the case at all whatsoever. For every man serves himself. But Jesus Christ, did he serve himself? No, he walked with humility, he served God the Father, and that's how we should live serving God through the way of Jesus Christ. So yeah, I love you guys all so very much, and I pray deliverance and guidance upon you that you will be sanctified and saved by Jesus Christ alone. And I really hope and have faith that some of you guys will make it to the end of this video, and some of you guys will feel something you will feel something and that is the holy spirit it's not me it's the holy spirit speaking through me to tell you all this because judgment day is coming and i want all you guys to no longer be misguided but to be guided to the right truth for i can't save anybody that's jesus christ that that can only save you so i say these things in jesus christ's name amen